Hello YouTube, it's FS Derek here again. I thought I'd just take you through the process of adding on scenery to um, Flight Simulator because there is um, a, 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 an idiosyncrasy about doing it which is very frustrating if you don't know what's going wrong. So I promised that I'd to dig out the world and stick it in the right place uh, on our last flight and here's how you do it. Now, I've got the um, VFR scenery on a separate drive. Um, so the first thing you want to do is go to settings and then go to scenery library. Now you can see I've installed some scenery there already. Um, and the scenery that I've got is organized, it basically came on three discs. So let's add an area. And I'm going to go to my recent items and navigate to where I know the scenery is. Now, obviously, in on your um, disk it will be you know I mean you may be able to install it automatically from your uh, installation DVD or CD but in my case I've got the three volumes copied onto my um, E drive I think in this case and if we look at volume 2 let's look at volume 2 you'll see it comes in three areas so we've got volume 2 area 1 2 and 3 and even in the areas there are um, four different uh, types of scenery that you can install. You've either got the 1.2 or the 2.4 res meters resolution photos depending on how detailed you want it. Then you've got a 2.4 meter night uh, scenery and, and a, a 4.8 meter mesh which is quite a small mesh. So I'll just take you through the process of installing one of these. Now let's assume that we're going to install this 1.2 meter photo. So I've clicked on it it's all there, it's all selected and everything uh, and so you think great okay and then what happens nothing so then you click on scenery and you click on okay and you can click on okay till the cows come home nothing will happen and that's because you have to do it in a quite a strange way now I've clicked on the 1.2 meters photo a directory and I'm going to name this um, disk 2 area 1 and that's really because they're all going to end up with the area title 1.2 meters photo so I need to know which one comes from which disk and which area so this is disk 2 area 1 1.2 millimeter photo and you click on OK and once again you get taken through to the scenery thing and your directory vanishes but it's not a problem because the trick now is to click anywhere in the white space so if I click there on the white space you'll see that that's vanished and in fact the disk 2 area 1 1 1.2 meter photo scenery has loaded with priority 1 so let me just take you through that uh, again uh, a couple of times just to make sure that you've got that totally okay so it's add area navigate to uh, I'm just going to recent items because I know it's stored one of the directories I was in recently um, so we're gonna, then so I'm going to navigate up and then go back down to volume 2 area 1 and now I'm going to do the 2.4 millimeter night, 2.4 meter night scenery. So that's disc two, area one, 2.4 millimeter night. Click on OK and then click somewhere in the white. And one last time, add area. Um, you might think that the scenery has to be in this add-on scenery subdirectory. Um, but in fact it doesn't it doesn't actually have to be anywhere near you can it can be on a totally separate drive and in many ways it's a good idea to have it on a separate drive because um, let's just get this right volume 2 area 1 and then lastly the mesh so that's 2-1 mesh uh, okay and then actually if we go back uh, you'll see well we don't have to go back um, but um, let's just get that right back in there again and pop the two one in there uh, it says here cache this scenery or use the scenery directly now um, if you cache the scenery what that means is that it'll read the uh, scenery into memory rather than reading it from disk as it's required now that's faster but obviously it requires a lot more memory so if you're flying a lot in the southeast for example as we are then I may well um, just ask it to cache the, the immediate local area. That's slightly different from another setting which I'll show you um, quickly. 
so we're going to we're going to click on that 4.8 millimeter mesh and then somewhere in the white and then here we are so we've got the uh, disc 2 area 1 and there's the the mesh the night uh, scenery and the 1.2 millimeter photo scenery now this cache is a different cache um, what that does is it says uh, as it says down the bottom here um, when you start Microsoft Flight Simulator and it reads in scenery into the program um, you can tell it to um, just remember what scenery it had loaded and so when it closes down and it saves data it will save the scenery data so the next time when you load it up it'll load up quicker because it'll know exactly what scenery you want loaded in what you can do is you can tell it to empty the um, scenery cache on the exit and and what that will do is it'll just say look forget what scenery you had loaded um, just go to the store and read it read it in again based on where you are now that really was quite critical in the days when everybody had a two megabyte hard drive but um, now at the moment it's not a problem so I would unless you're experiencing severe delays starting up and closing down I would just um, leave that unchecked and just cache the scenery so that's it we uh, should have the scenery ready it's going to generate uh, a scenery file index um, so it knows what scenery you've got but as far as the priorities go really you want the best scenery to have the highest priority so if we go back to the scenery library there you'll see the priority is one uh, it doesn't really matter because uh, these won't overlay each other because they relate to different geographical areas so it's only ever going to load the one that's relevant to where it is so it's only when you've got different sceneries that um, relate to the same geographical spot that um, where you're going to get into trouble um, as regards priority and in that case you should have the best scenery on the top with that's with the lowest priority so if you've got for example a, an airport that should be priority one and then if you've got a local area scenery then that should be priority two and then uh, right at the bottom underneath absolutely everything at all is the default scenery default terrain above that is just the are the base tiles then above that are the continental tiles and above that are the um, uh, cities and uh, various uh, airports and our scenery is going to go right on top and um, the only thing that we might want to put on top of our scenery would be anything that we had that was more detailed from the UK so for example um, Longleat there for example we might want to move that up because Longleat will be on top of the photorealistic scenery we want it to be on top of the photorealistic scenery okay that's it and uh, hopefully when uh, we next go flying from Manston we're going to have a bit of uh, proper scenery to look at.